What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Face of Chad. This is episode seven of season three. We are getting into love for love's sake. I'm going to say it now. We finished it, so spoilers. If you haven't finished it, not my fault, not my problem. You chose to click on the video. So, (laughs) we will be getting into love for love's sake today. (laughs) What? I'm just saying. (laughs) Love you. Sorry. Love you. Go just say. (laughs) Don't be mad at me. Be mad at your fingers. I'm I'm excited because honestly, like, um, for me, yesterday I binged episode three to episode eight. I honestly don't know how you did it. (laughs) When I tell you that show got my brain tickling, like, especially uh, closer to the end, it Mm -hmm. made my brain just think of all Mm -hmm. these different theories about the show and what it means. Which we're gonna touch on yeah. today. So don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. But yeah. overview though. I'm excited. Like in well no 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 no. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Cause we haven't even done the intro yet. We'll wait. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> true. But but yeah, we're gonna get into it. Go on ahead and join the group chat and get to it. Per, per, per. <laughs> Overview everything as a whole. We know that it's supposed to be about a 29 year old who fell in love with his senior's novel and he ends up in a game simulation based off that novel. Mm-hmm. What did you think about it, like, as a whole? I thought it was <laughs> a really good concept. Mm-hmm. And I know I expressed this to you before. Yeah. Because I think it was episode... No, it was episode one. Episode one. When he met Yoon up on the roof. When mm. Yoon met Yoon up on the roof. And they were... They're basically forecasting something that was going to happen later in the show. Mm. And when they fell back and the sky kind of just blended and went into <laughs> like night... I was just like, oh my God, I know this is going to be good. I know because you can't edit like that and it, it not, not be, be good. <laughs> it not be good all around. Like, yeah. But I think as far as the story goes, I love how they brought each character out. They had mm-hmm. four main characters, which was Myung Ha, Young Woo, Yoon, um, Sung Wan, and Kyung Hoon. Yes. And they gave us, obviously, they gave us four main roles because I looked at my drama list and I was like, mm. which makes sense. Four though. Main characters, you know, it makes sense yeah, though. It does. because if you think about it, Kim Hoon and someone played like critical parts in certain mm-hmm. things and how it got yeah. to a certain point. So I can yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah. And at first I was skeptical about it, mm-hmm. but then it made sense. Like you said, it made sense. Yeah. And everybody got their light. Everybody got their story. Yeah. And it didn't seem like they were rushing any particular part of the no. actual series. So no. the entire time I was engaged, it didn't feel like I watched six whole episodes mm-hmm. in one <laughs> sitting. It didn't feel like it at all. And I, I was, I was in it. Every time I finished one, I wanted to go in. My camera be overheating too, and I was like, "Eh." That's because he you don't pause. That's because he don't pause, y'all. <laughs> I don't pause. I hardly pause in any of my reactions. Most of the time, if I, I think I'm good at catching everything, but if I don't, then I'll rewind. See, but, sweaty no. over here. Because I will be honest, I really loved it. They did a very good take on game simulation, like. Making choices, having to have to make. Cause listen, one part where he had to make that critical choice, I've never seen a choice like that in other game simulation dramas. Like it was real easy. It was a real easy choice. But this was it though. No, 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 no. Here, this was an easy choice. I'm saying like, think of light on me, cause that was supposed to be technically game simulation. That choice was like easy. Like 
No, yeah. nobody was gonna really get hurt, hurt over that choice. This, it was like he die or she die. <laughs> it's like... When they started showing those flashbacks, or not flashbacks, but those forecasts of Yoon being hit by a car, I was like, see, because I didn't even know it was Yoon at like, first. I thought it was yeah. Mianka. I was like, damn. So either you save her or you die. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Right. But I will say, it, if you have to pay attention, I will say that mm-hmm. you do have to pay attention because a lot of things do go by really, really quick. Mm-hmm. And especially when they flash between the game simulation and Myungka in real life, and then mm-hmm. his past versus his past in the game, like it, it really went. Sh- sh- Cause I found yeah. myself being like, "Wait, hold on, who is this?" and rewinding. But overall, it's a great, great series, great storyline. No, <laughs> so good, and the and they gave us thirty, like true thirty minute. Episodes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I need KBLs to <laughs> give us more. There's, you know, side they're note, trying. Apart from this, they're mm-hmm. trying. Yeah, there's another show coming out. I don't know what it's called, but it's supposed to be a episodes two. Mm-hmm. I think. Giving us fifty-minute episodes each Ooh. one, and I was like, Whoa. "See, that's giving love and translation." Because love and mm-hmm. translation gave us good forty-something-minute episodes, and that was <sighs> it. Touched my soul, and with the I do like with the K dramas, there's something going on mm-hmm. every minute. So, like, if you could mm-hmm. give me a long episode, I bruh. everything coincides, <laughs> and it doesn't seem like there's one instance where something is just happening to happen to fill space. Yeah. It seems like everything is intertwined. Everything leads back to other things. Like there's one particular uh, instance in love for love's sake that I really like Mm -hmm. where it leads back to something else. My favorite things that they would do was when they would have Myungka like stuck in taboo in the game where it was like doing the system errors and it was like throwing oh, him yeah. all over the place oh mm-hmm. that was nice I was like damn this is what glitches really be feeling like for your computer yes <laughs> I'm like I was just here and now I'm over here that's it what? so that's what I wanted to say Whoops. I love that this show referenced everything mm-hmm. when it presented something it always came back. So one of the instances where I thought it was so nice because we didn't know where it was going <laughs> and it could have went nowhere was when the system asked Myungha to raise 300,000 won. And at first I was like, <laughs> like for what? Okay. I, was, I, I was with him. I was like, he is a high school student. He <laughs> has to raise 300 million won yeah. or um, 3 million won. But then it literally he raised the last 500 won by giving Yoon that band aid, and it was right when his dad came and just took money from him mm-hmm. and tore up the house. It he could have and it linked it because Myung Ha was like, If you need money, if you need something, I have some saved up. That's why the system made you save it up, yeah, so that you could help him because. The system knew that, that was, was going to happen they to him. Knew. Because, and it, it's like, because that's how it went in the novel. So that's why I was like, you could see why myung was doing certain things the way he was doing it. Because he was doing mm-hmm. it based off, like, a reader, how you would treat him in the novel, I feel like. Yeah. And that's why I was like, ah, system, ah. <laughs> you know, the system errors also reminded me of, like, if you add a mod in the game, like, you try yeah. to jazz it up real quick, try to, you try to fix whatever is going on in the game. It's like, uh-uh. it's like <laughs> too much. You're not going to make a shortcut. Too much. Just like when, <laughs> speaking of that, when he tried to get money from his grandmother, yeah. and it was like, this don't count. Mm-mm. You got to earn it. Say this no. don't count. Zero. <laughs> Like, that don't work. He was like, what the? Because <laughs> Solomon oh was like, you can borrow from me. He was like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it won't matter. <laughs> but either way, um, it won't do nothing. <laughs> Shoot, I would have took that. I was like, Ooh, okay, a little side change. <laughs> you know, right. go to the stove. But, but yeah, I, the, the entire show was just good from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, 
<laughs> the men. <laughs> so unbelievable. Wookie did a really good job too. He did. He did. Wookie was so really cute. <laughs> he was <Yeah>. so cute. <laughs> That's not why. But movie. <laughs> Ciao. Ooh, so he fine. Look, I'm he sorry. Was, he was a bully, whatever, but he fine. <laughs> I know he was supposed to be a little bully or whatever, but he bully me. Like, but he wasn't really a bully. No. He was kind of like a bully. He was a bully. He was, he was a hater, is what he was. He, yeah. was. he was far from a bully. He was a whole hater. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to start something with Yo Woon when Myung Ha got him those shoes, yeah. but other than that, he was just an agitator. Like, yeah. Wasn't really even on bully status. Who was a bully? Mr. Blind. Was Mr. <laughs> Blonde Carpet Boy. Friday. What's his name? I don't even remember. Jun- Junho. 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 That was his name. He was so irrelevant Junho. to me. I don't even remember your name. Like, an actual <laughs> actor. Mm. Um... Jungbom, yeah. Jungbom. I think he went on like a live and <laughs> he's probably like, "Don't be mean." Like, no, no, no. He was like, "Honestly, I hate this character. Like, he is such an ass. Like, he was talking shit about his character, and he was." Like, I'm glad you I'm, like, know. Period. I'm glad you know. But the, people were laughing because they they said, "How does this character have so much homophobia?" But the actual actor is so like cunty. Like, he was just like. Child. Like what's I was like, period. Child. <laughs> that shit killed me when they kissed him in the series. I was like, oop. I was like, any <laughs> No. <laughs> the moment that will forever be my Roman Empire from what? now on is when someone was confronting him. Bro. He was like, Are you gay? He was, like, was yeah. like, Yeah. <laughs> and what about it? <laughs> he was like, You want me to kiss you too? <laughs> No, but yo getting jealous over <laughs> I honestly felt him. Cause I was like, so you go kiss the bully, but you can't even address yo feelings. <laughs> yo said sorry. Like, you won't kiss me though. He was about to like <laughs> he was about to killing up his little his little um little cherry on his lip. <laughs> and he was like, hmm. So he kisses boys. Can boys kiss boys? I want to kiss him. I was like, <laughs> Yo, um. and then when Ryan was like, eh, eh, he was like, ah. Yo, was like, how so, dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Yo, the, speaking of what, just the change in Yo Woon. At first, I was kind of like. Why did he just all of a sudden change his like demeanor? Just it was out of nowhere. But then I forget that this is a simulation, and once he got to a certain like level, yeah, it was going to change oh, immediately yeah. anyway. <laughs> so I I had to attribute it to that because at first I, I was like I don't like how he just changed all of Bruh. a sudden. I was like wait that this shit, is a simulation that should remind me of the Sims Sims Four. Let you let your Sim get into a fight. With the other Sim, mm-hmm. that shit goes red so fucking quick. You be like, bruh, <laughs> we were just good. Now what? I gotta make you my bestie all over again. <laughs> so I have to start over. No, when he got to negative ninety nine, I was like, oh my god, you know how you got so worried to do my boy? Because that's just a. <laughs> I was like, bruh. I was like, whoa. I was like, bruh. I'm still old. We'll get into that, but I'm still mad at how they did him <laughs> when they got rid of all his days. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to we'll, that in we'll like the final that. thoughts. Yeah, because that, okay. that shit was so angry. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> but, I didn't get like a little, a little cut up, but no. Yeah. Nah. Um, <laughs> but, but I guess we can move on to Myung Ha and Yoon's past. Yes. And how they played a part, like an integral part, into the um, whole the story itself. Yeah. Oh my god! Because if you if you really think about it, their past do oh my god, you like a frog. <laughs> if you think about it, their past okay, do low key intertwine because in a sense. Bianca was drawn to Yoon's character in the novel because they related the most. If you think mm-hmm. about it, Yoon always 
was the one that had to get relied on. Like every like right. he was on his own. Like he had to do everything for himself. Myungka always wants to help. Whatever. That's why he was drawn mm-hmm. to Yoon. So it like it makes sense like why how everything played the way it did mm-hmm. essentially in the series. Yeah, because Yoon comes from <clears throat> A background. I think he said his yeah, his dad was the only one alive. His mom um, passed left. away. Yeah, she had left and passed away. Him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. No, he's. <laughs> this is not funny. It's just a boy, funny the way he said. It. He's that like, she left, and I think she died. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Because he wasn't one hundred percent sure, and he just knew that. Oh like, no. He just knew that his dad was still alive, whereas Myungka's <laughs> mom up and left and started a whole new life. Bitch. Oh my god, had a whole new family. That shit, honestly, we'll get into that too, another final thought, because that, 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 oh my god, that broke my heart. But, so it's like, said, wow. both their moms left, all mm. they had was their grandmas, both their grandmas passed away. Yeah, so they were literally fated to mm-hmm. meet and their lives intertwine. Mm-hmm. And even though the story is mainly, you know, strung around Myung Ha's past. Yeah. I like how they flipped it. And they basically showed us that they each are kind of puzzle pieces to each other. Mm-hmm. And they make up the parts that the other doesn't have. So like you said before, Myung Ha is the one that's always taking care of people. Mm-hmm. Yo needs someone to take care of him. And on the flip side, Yo is somebody who can be like relied on. Yeah. Like, like he said to Myung Ha that one time, he said, I like people who are reliable. He, cause he himself, if he says he's going to do something, he's, he's going to do, do it. it. Yeah. And, uh, so I like how they flipped that and they kind of made these mm-hmm. two characters puzzle pieces for each other. Yeah. And it's like, which makes, <laughs> which makes the ending even more like satisfying because mm-hmm. In a way, Myungha, he always was so zeroed in on making sure other people were happy. He never knew how to show his happiness yeah. or that he loved somebody, which was why in his past he got broken up with because they were like, dude, I don't even know if you love me. Like, you're always doing right. stuff for me, but I don't know. Like, you never let me do th- whatever. Mm-hmm. So how they like were flip that also to where it's like now it's all about you this whole experience was really for you (laughs) to find your happiness that was so satisfying it was so satisfying you're an idiot y'all I be trying to be so serious sometimes (laughs) Pearl Pearl lost her shit though when they came up in there I said girl them your boys ain't it Right. Them your boys, hello. And give you our devotion, Here. but yeah, like it's it's so nice how they intertwine mm-hmm. their fates. It's amazing, but um, I guess well we we got we got ten minutes before we break, so we can go to the next one. <laughs> this is mostly like something that I was pushing to have as a okay because <laughs> I had a theory because I have a theory about the entire show. So this section is called purgatory because <laughs> hear me out hear me out he said all who now, have ears listen all have ears listen listen to my theory okay so during the whole entire show i was thinking how are they going to spin this how is it going to come out of the simulation what's going to happen mm-hmm. and everything clicked at the end because i feel like it's technically not a simulation it's like it's Myung Ha's purgatory because this is how I feel the sequence of events happened. He was in that like park area mm-hmm. and obviously they were wishing on the like meteor shower that was happening and people were like, oh, I want love. One of the guys was like, oh, I want to lose weight and stuff like that. He was like, I wish um, I could leave this world. And then you also see him wishing other things like I wish I could love, I could be loved. Yeah. And then he went to see his mom because he mustered up the courage to go see his mom, right? That bitch. Saw her, saw that whole Oh, you hoochie hell. <laughs> Girl, you know, we 
already said we were going to talk about it in the final thoughts, but we're going to talk, gonna talk about, about you now. now. How dare you? Because, like, How dare you? I, 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 under, I understand to, to a, like, a degree. Like, you know, to, with, an to an extent, like, when, you know, situations happen, whatever. But, like, it was just like you, it just felt like you felt trapped in the other situation mm -hmm. and you just had to go like you literally left and start a whole new life <laughs> like i was like i can understand if like it's weird it's awkward whatever you don't want to address the past mm -hmm. but like he's in front of your face like the least you can do is just be like hey like let's talk let's kiki whatever my thing is <laughs> my thing is you have this whole child this yeah. whole human being yeah. that came out of you yeah i understand if maybe it was a i didn't ask for the situation it was too type much. Of thing, which <laughs> hopefully it wasn't that because that's a whole different story or it was i wasn't being careful when i got pregnant and like you know that thing happened and i couldn't take care of him understood understood yeah but the way it was spun to us is that you just did. You just left. <laughs> you just dipped because you didn't want to deal with you this. Didn't, you didn't and want that life which, at that moment. Right. Which I'm I'm sorry, sis. But when things th are thrown at you and it's because of you, you got to take care of that. You can't. This is a whole. And it's, it's not like you left a job. Girl, you left a child. And then this child comes to visit you. You didn't start this whole new life. Got a successful cafe on the beachfront. And you were telling me you got another kid. A whole other son on you, top of that. You had another kid without reconnecting with your first child. It's to like, be like, hey, <laughs> I'm sorry I left you. I'm doing better for myself. Let's talk. Let's mend things. No, you just had another kid. It's almost like she did okay. a redo. Because you had yeah, you had another bad. son. You you have a better life. Like it's like you literally hit the she's reset like, button. <laughs> she's like, this one ain't it. I want this one. That's crazy. Like, anyways. But he met his mom. Mm -hmm. That whole thing happened. It drove him to, you know, unlive himself, commit the deed. I feel that his conversation with that guy, because we really don't know the full oh, extent of the relationship. Is. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. So my theory is that I don't, there's another name for them, but let's just put him in the light of a grim reaper. And Ooh. he's kind of the person, if you've ever watched, um, what is it? History hero where he like bangs his head. He's supposed to die, but there's this other guy that like reincarnates him. That's basically what his senior oh. was, was he basically was in purgatory and he put them him in a simulation because usually when you go to purgatory, you have to prove that you deserve another life or you deserve to go to heaven. Or, and that's like, why he was getting the choices in. Right. So oh. he was placed into this area mm -hmm. and he has to make these choices. And a lot of these choices were tests for him to see if he could, instead of taking on the entire problem himself and just solving it yeah. and like not letting anybody in, see if he could actually rely on other people, which he failed. Miserably. <laughs> Cause I was like, damn, bro, you weren't supposed to break up with him. Like there was something right. else. There was something else you could have like, did. <laughs> I was like, because you're making choices for other people. Yeah. And that's not it's because he wanted his cake and eat it too. He wanted his yeah. grandma and he wanted his man. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he just didn't want. He I, he felt because they referenced the question that his senior asked him was <laughs> if it was between. <laughs> like if you knew it was going to end anyway would you break up with them now or mm -hmm. would you cherish the days that you have yeah. until that moment even though it might be as like more messy than just breaking up with them now yeah and he said I'll break up with it them. was like, such an easy that? answer until he was actually in the situation <laughs> <was such> a, <laughs> right and i love that kyung hoon actually kind of gave him the answer of what he needed to do mm -hmm. because he was talking about his friend that was over in the States studying abroad or whatever. Yeah. Coming back and how like they were like, it's his boyfriend. They were together and he's asking, you know, I was like, well, like why, if y'all know it's going to end, like why would you have this long distance <clears throat> relationship? And Kyung was like, I want to put my all into it. Why would I 
fall short when I can put my all into it. We know it's both inevitable. Yeah. Like, we know it's going to happen. So why would I just cut it short instead of living these days happy? Because at least I can look back on these days and be like, wow, we were cute as fuck. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. So it, it had all these tests for him to do. And when he... Basically, when he went up onto the rooftop thing, yeah, and uh, Yoan didn't see him, it was because he went back to purgatory to get his sentence. The his senior came back and was like, Hey, <laughs> sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, um, it looks you like you missed early. it, <laughs> you, you missed the point, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. But here's the thing. It's okay. I am a benevolence. <laughs> I am benevolence, okay? He said, I got you. And I will you. help you out. I got you. I will help you out. <laughs> he said, this time, go and get your happiness. Because cause the thing is, Myung Ha, even though it was at the last minute he yeah. learned his lesson, yeah. he learned it and before the world, like the system era, the era mm-hmm. of what the era was, which was him the whole time. Yeah. And he learned his lesson. But so he was like, you can go back. But this time it switched. And I think the reason why they weren't in the same time frame mm-hmm. was because the race or whatever was like the last test yeah. for him. So he had and to so get he there. Had, he, yeah, he had to make it to, even though they were in the same exact spot, they were in different time frames. Yeah. But I think that for in in my eyes, Yoan represented the heaven. Mm-hmm. And if he didn't make it there, that rep like he was going <laughs> flames but you know so but he made he ended up making it and he ended up learning to actually depend on other people to take yeah. care of him and actually showing that he loves someone because he that last like race to the finish line was him showing that oh i want to outwardly and visually show my love for this man. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah. that's what I thought that was. I was like, because it didn't click to the end, because I was like, why are we seeing this now? Yeah, because it, when... it, honestly, I, I still, because I was still in game simulation mode. Actually, we're going to take a break and then I'll tell you. We'll see you in like a few seconds. Enjoy the break. <laughs> oh, so I did it because I was still stuck on like game simulation. I couldn't, it, it never really like dawned on me anything outside of like, you're just an heir. Like, it's a game, you're the glitch, like, whatever, you need to learn your lesson. Like, I didn't, yeah. it didn't expand anything past that. Cause I was like, especially when he was in limbo all the time. Um, like I mentioned earlier, him like going into the piano room and then backing out and it's dark, running somewhere else and he's somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I just thought like it was like oh the game's glitching like you're glitching yeah. so it's gonna throw you different places and it yeah. never dawned like it's because like well I mean towards the end I started realizing like it's because you keep making bad choices to compensate for another choice that you made prior mm-hmm. and it's like that's not how it works <laughs> you know but it didn't dawn yeah. that like you know it could be something deeper than like mm-hmm. Where I was like thinking, that's why I say, y'all, it's a deep thinker. It's a deep it thinker. Like, you, you, you gotta think when it goes to this one. <laughs> but what I do love, though, that it they keep it to where you could, you could watch it yeah. for surface level mm-hmm. and still really enjoy it. But it also has something for the people that like to, like, theorize something deeply and theorize. <laughs> it's theorized. Also, you're like, whoa. Because even even them connecting when he was talking to his senior yeah and the background was the bubbles mm-hmm. they show that background and then they correlate that with the bubbles when he goes under when he's trying to like unalive himself I was yeah like, they literally told us that this was how he dies i did like also how when he was talking to his senior he was like okay you can go back how yobun nobody else could remember myungka except for yobun and jinjo and i feel like the only reason jinjo could remember myungka is because she was the girl in his past Yes. And that was the only Thank reason you. Thank you. she could remember him as well because he has a connection. Like, girl, you know who this man is. Everybody else never got him. Hello. It's because everybody that had a deep connection with him 
remembered him because even when yo ran to his grandmother's house because i was like oh my god is she gonna be there is she mm-hmm. and she was like oh and he was like where's me and blah, blah. And she was like i don't like it. she was like i was like okay so she remembers him and i liked how like he got to get the reward and it was like now it's on mm-hmm. you yo like you're the narrator of this mm-hmm. game and he was like, Myung has happiness. Like, please make Myung happy. I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh my God. I was like, I'm now it's like, for crap. you. I was like, go get your happiness. I was like, please. Oh my God. I loved it. I did no, almost cry so for sure. That show definitely no. almost made me cry. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was just so good. And mm-hmm. uh, there. People are talking about wanting a season two. And I think at first I didn't think a season two was really something that was needed or Mm -hmm. could possibly happen. Mm -hmm. But if we look at it in the light of now we can see everything from Yoon's eyes instead of Myung Ha. Or see how, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, Because right when you said, right when you was like falling to, I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, he's still talking. I was like, hold on. <laughs> it, was, it was like, I think because I had like one last word that I wanted to say, and I was like, wait, no. And then I realized that was all I actually had to say. I am so, so. sorry. But um, I was going to say, or just do new characters. Like, yeah. they can, like, Yo and Myungka could be, like, you know, cameo just to connect the two. Mm-hmm. But if it was just completely different characters, new situation, I love that. We could also center it around Kyunghoon. Yeah. And what... I know, I know that the Sungwon is just his friend or whatever, but <laughs> it would be cute if maybe Kyunghoon's, like, relationship ended up not working out and yeah. someone actually ends up being the one yeah. that helps him through the whole situation and maybe not to the point of myung Ha's story where he you know unalive himself, himself and, stuff, and all that shit but but maybe like a coma type situation where still you the same through, like, choices yeah, 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 yeah. you know because you know, so. not for nothing someone in kyung Hoon's little moments at the end i saw y'all I thought yeah. y'all how he was chasing so his his arm. We saw it. Yeah, like Miss Kim Kyung or what's her name? Kim Kyung Kyung Anyway, um, Miss Writer, Miss Director, Miss Writer, Writer. If you need an idea, <laughs> I hope you see this video. But, but yeah, but but shit. Um, while we're talking about key moments, we could just go into yeah. the key moments in general. Yeah, Yo, is topic. a literal Pretty. puppy. Yeah, he's a literal like, puppy. It's, for me, it's when he, because he has very, um, like, sharp eyes. Like, he, like when he when he's just resting his face, he's just like... But they're, like, sleepy at the same time. It's like sleepy eyes. <laughs> but then when he becomes cute, they come, they, they come these big puppy dog eyes. I'm like... <laughs> no, because... Like, how can you look... I can look like that, but also look like that. It's a duality for me. <laughs> I don't understand. Because the one key moment of his like duality, the cuteness that stands out to me is when they went to the bar, the Korean barbecue spot, and he saw that Bianca was hurt. He was like, "Are you okay?" He was like, "Are you hurt?" And he poked out that bottom lip. I said, "Bitch, put it back." I was like, "Put it back." <laughs> I was like, no. stop! Because that's when the affection was starting to rise. So it was just yeah. like. And he was putting all the like meat on his plate. And I was like, he was like, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here's more. I was like, whoa. Oh, my that's, God. When I, that's when I was worried about this random change in his personality. I was like, yeah. where did this come from? It was because that affection but, level was at 38. It was at 38. Mm-hmm. Or like on the rooftop when they made their little deal and he was like, if you kiss, he was like, if you let me kiss you, then I'll work with her. And he was like, sure. He was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and then he did that too fucking quick. I was like, he didn't give a fuck. He just wanted a kiss. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> no, it's so adorable. And then the, it's whenever he saw Myung Ha, how mm-hmm. like golden retriever he was. <laughs> 
I'm just like, yeah. His face would light up. <laughs> you know who he reminded me of? He who? reminded me of Homeboy from uh, Love Tractor. <gasps> Whenever oh he saw him. God. I was like. <laughs> he was like a golden retriever. <laughs> it's like, I want somebody to be that excited to see me at any given moment. Yeah, it's just you be know? that happy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can be mad at them. I can be upset. I can be annoyed. Yeah. Let them be like, I'd be like, uh, I'm like, you little stupid. Come here. (laughs) Come here. here. No. Like, dude. Uh, it was so just like every every single moment they had together. Yeah. Once that affection started raising, even before, because it was like, here go me, okay, you want ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, go get ice cream. He's like, I'll. He said, <laughs> like, fine, I'll get. Cause and look. <laughs> and then it was like when I thought it was so cute when uh, Milka saw his mom in that cafe mm-hmm. when they went to the beach mm-hmm. and uh, Yoon saw that he was upset or he ran out. He was like, do you want to go get ice cream? I was like... <gasps> He's like, I know you love ice cream. Yoon, why? You better give him that red bean ice cream. Yo, I really want to like, try that thing. ice cream. I want to try it. Yeah. It looked really interesting. I was like, hmm, I feel like it would taste like chocolate. Low-key. Yeah. It might. Um, Lucky, I'm gonna try it. Um, if you had red bean also, dessert, let me know. <laughs> yeah. Also, a really cute moment that, well, it's kind of cute and heartbreaking at the same time. But also, I don't I'm know scared. because I feel like I feel like he was using something as a cover up for something else. Whoa. No, I'm not. I'm 100 percent sure it was a cover up for something else. But anyways, when Song Warren was at the um, playground. And Myung Ha saw him and, he, oh. and someone was crying. I feel like he used his dog as a cover up for like him being heartbroken. Low because, key. Yeah. He, he liked Myung Ha. He was mad that Myung Ha wasn't giving him the same yeah. attention he was giving Yo Woo. He was like, You buy him shoes? Like, you ain't buy me no shoes? <laughs> no shoes. And like, he, I was like, Oh, you deserve love too, Pookie. He does. Like, you deserve love because you. Even though you're an ass and you're annoying, you be sticking up for them and stuff He's like so, that. I was just about to say, like, literally, when he first popped up, I was like, y'all, watch him become a bestie. I was like, yeah. he don't he don't give me that he's really bullying them. I was like, he right. gives me troll more than, like, actual <laughs> bully. <laughs> Not troll. troll. Yeah. No, but I was cracking up when he... Uh, when Myung Ha found out like the whole thing that they were doing or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, I don't know where Yo is. And he was like, it's okay, I'll find him. He was like, how are you gonna find him? He was like, if it's Yo and I'll find him. And then Myung Ha runs off. He was like, I used to like women. And he was like <laughs> I was like, shut up. One. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, my no, whole it. life has you changed. Was alive. <laughs> like, Since you came, Since you came I just I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I mean, you may, you may have like, you know, been like, dabbled and dabbled, dabbled and dabbled. <laughs> but, but you discovered a new side of yourself. You can still like women. I you just know that you like women. I find it. I'm sorry, y'all. I found it really hard. Even even when someone and Yo Woo got into that fight, I found it so hard to hate someone. I was like, yo, no, yeah. I was like, he was just jealous and be a hater. I was like, yeah. I called him a bully just because, like, I was like, not you being a bully, stop bullying people. But I didn't, ha- I couldn't hate someone. Like, no, not at all. He's just like I said, he's a bully with a heart. He is. He just a loves bully with a heart. You know. Um. But yeah, those are all the cute moments I could think of. Other than like, yeah. you know, the little in the ending part when they were on the beach. But I did say, I said, imagine you're on this beach and you just see these two like high school students running around like, and just whoosh, literally start making whoosh. out. I'd be in like, the of the beach. I'd be like, uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> she said, I just I'm like, what do we have here? <laughs> hmm. It seems like homosexuals. 
It's a homosexual. But even even though there is one other, it's a sad moment. It shouldn't be cute to me. But their breakup scene was still like it was still oh. it was still cute because you could tell like they really cared so about each other. And he did, he was like, I don't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, well, I love you. Like, I was I'll like, I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> And it was still it was still cute though because I was like, bruh, he is literally in front of you, like please, like please, you know, I'll like, be a good boy. Like, <laughs> my heart, my heart was like, I know I'll change for you, I'll do better. But then the bad bitch in me was like, stand <laughs> up, stand <laughs> up. <laughs> but you know, because <laughs> I was like, I was like, you ain't do nothing wrong. It is him. It's on him. I but, was like, the know. only reason I can see him being like, I'm sorry, is because he did tell you earlier, get out my face. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dead ass was like, <laughs> say, goodbye. Goodbye, move. <laughs> again, it all goes back to Myung Ha because it's like yeah. you didn't say nothing to this boy for like 24, 48 hours. And you were saying, I literally, gone. I forgot that he had fell out because I was like, where the hell is he at? I was like, what the I said, fuck? <laughs> You, you could have said that, but instead you showed up with like a present, like here. Like how? Huh? Like, and he said, I like, "What?" But in that moment, I was, I kept thinking, this was what you were supposed to learn. Yeah, and you can't. But he, he, he's trying. He was trying, and I think he thought like, "Oh, show, like show my love with gifts." But that's yeah. what you did in your past life. So exactly. You can't, that's that's not because what that's what he thinks happiness is, or how you make mm-hmm. somebody happy. Because he was so focused yeah. on the mission, he was like, "Fuck me mm-hmm. being sick." Like as long as you're happy, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and it's crazy because those missions were literally mm-hmm. things that you might have done. Like now that I think about it, the money, the the overall mission was to make him happy. Yeah. But it's. It's like these were tests to see how you would make him happy. Mm-hmm. And these missions that came in were things to, there were things that you would have done in the past. And yeah. the system was trying to see how you would handle those with the, with the money, mm-hmm. which you kind of failed that one a little bit because you were just trying to give him the money, which, I mean, obviously you're going to be like, if you need help. Yeah. But I think it was more so that you one just wanted you to be there for him. And you just weren't put. You weren't picking up what he was putting down. And honestly, with the grandmother situation, I really feel like mm-hmm. he was supposed to choose Yoon because in that mm-hmm. moment he was supposed to be selfish. But for yeah. your happiness, but he was selfish in terms of I want my grandmother because I already lost her already, mm-hmm. and I want Yoon because I need to complete this mission. Like I can't yeah. let him die. But he was. I really feel like you were supposed to choose Yoon because you already. Mm-hmm had memories with your grandmother i right. feel like that's what the system was trying to show you you had those moments you cher- cherish those time. days that Girl you already time. had yeah mm-hmm. whereas yo when he's still here he's present current like mm-hmm. you should pour into him i feel like that's what they right. were trying to show him yeah. and he wanted both and they were like eh, that's not how it works <laughs> yeah he felt very regretful because yeah he didn't give that love to her like he did in the simulation in mm-hmm. real life. And so he felt regretful. Yeah. But in the end, you still even she was even trying to get you to stay and have breakfast. That was the last time you could have poured. And who's to say that if you would have stayed with her and ate that breakfast with her, what would have happened? What what would have happened and mm-hmm. what mission you would have got? You might not have even gotten that like that mission to choose between the two of them. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, it's it just goes to show like when he gave him that present after mm-hmm. his dad or after he came back, it was like, yo doesn't want a present for you. He wants to make sure you're all right. He wants yeah. you to reassure him that you're all right that you could have went and got some ice cream and that would have been it. He would have been happy as could be. Child, but instead, you should have texted him. Yeah. You should have texted him. Hello? So. Like, because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how long were you at someone's house? Because it I feels like it, it had to have been more than a day. Yeah. Because he was like, you gotta go. <laughs> He's like, like 
and you've been there for more than a day. Like it, it had to have been. And I'm just like, you couldn't have texted and been like, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling good. This is where I am. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But overall, <laughs> final thoughts of the series. Really enjoyed it. Uh-huh. I recommend it. To, I honestly would recommend it to everybody. Again, it is a thinker. So mm-hmm. prepare yourself. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you it is easy to follow along right. as well. But right. I think it's just a very well put together series and it has it has more to it than meets the eye because you look at you look at it from just a teaser standpoint and the posters and you're like oh this is gonna be like a little cute thing like a little but it actually has a deeper meaning to it but I think where I loved it was it having a deeper meaning but if you want to watch it for the surface level stuff, you don't have to necessarily dig deeper into that because yeah. you can literally watch it and just enjoy it for the moment. For what it Myung is. Ha, yeah, Myung Ha and Yo Eun have. Mm-hmm. And it be that. Yeah. But if you want to deep dive into it and analyze mm-hmm. it like I did with the purgatory thing and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you can. It's, it, it's for everybody. It goes both it's for ways. everybody. And I think that um, Kyung Ha, really, the director of the series, really Did a good showcased job. that. And she kind of set the precedent mm-hmm. for, like, people. Like, you can you can enjoy something for deep or for surface level at the same time. Yeah, because yeah, I honestly didn't even... Shit didn't click for me until towards the mm-hmm. end. So, and I still was like, oh, my God, I still felt the emotion yeah. still... So, cause I, like I said, I was piecing, I was noticing things here and there, but I really did piece shit together yeah. until like episode seven. So and like, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> this okay. is what's been going on the entire time. Mm-hmm. I think when I saw Jinjo with Myung Ha, either episode seven, episode eight, I was like, hold on. I was like, whoa, 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 wait. But you know what's interesting? <laughs> you know, you want to know what's interesting is mm-hmm. he was with her the whole time. Yeah. it's like... He didn't remember. He didn't remember her, but the way he was acting towards her, his body just knew. Yeah. His body knew that that was somebody in his past. That was important at a point. That was important. Yeah. But the way he, like, talked to her was very much, I don't know who you are. But at the same time, he talked to her, like, how a friend would be like, okay, like, you brag a lot. Like, you you always have something to say. Like, you always look plays. Like, <laughs> no, side note, side note, when she was like, she was like, hand your um, account over to me. I was like, her girl, get him them followers. And then when, um, when Myung Ha looked like a couple of days later, I was like, wow, she got her up to this already. And I was like, she bought them followers. Ain't nobody stupid. <laughs> listen, I mean, let's be real. He was only in 5K. Anybody could do that. <laughs> Anybody could do that. Listen, I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I was just kidding. Let me stop. She did. She did. She did her big boy sister. We saw you. Let me stop. She had bundles. Sister was pretty. I'm crying. I have buttons. She was saying pretty. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, guys, um, let us know your final thoughts of Love for Love's sake. Did you love it? Absolutely love it. Were you one of the people that deep delved into it or did you just enjoy it for the surface level? Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments. And yeah. If you got spoiled, tell me. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think it's just a given if we're yeah. going to talk about a series from now on, it's probably going to be spoilers. Again, but so. honestly, it's like we didn't really spoil that much, though. We didn't tell you real tea. Like, real, real tea. We, we, we kind of went through the whole thing. Oh, maybe. This, maybe. this is very spoiled, boo. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Anyway, hit the but, like button. Yeah, let's go. Follow the socials. Period. Don't forget the Jama Lama Kickstarter campaign, too. Per. Yes. Per, 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 Support per. that. <laughs> Links are in the description. And we will we'll see, see you in the next, next one. Time. Peace out. Bye. Exit the group chat. And, um, yo, I'm going to have to cut this. <laughs> well, I don't know why I be, ha- no, I be having those moments where I literally oh, have my brain head fart. just going. <laughs> Well, while you while you remember yours, I'll tell you mine.